My battery backup thingy here seems to have failed. So as you can see, all of the lights are blinking, and that's really not supposed to happen. So um, it's also making a sound. So I have a new one over here, and I'm going to go and open this up and replace it. All right, let's see what we have here. We have some user manuals and some power cords. Looks like we have a telephone wire, a USB to the computer, and a software of some sort. And then there's the thing itself in here. Here on the side we have something kind of interesting, some sort of a quality control looks like receipt type thing. August 22nd, 2014, that's not too bad. Um, and looks like an actual person investigated this at some point. And the battery cover appears to be right here on the bottom. I'll take that off. Doesn't seem to actually come all the way up, but it doesn't have to. Battery seems to just plug up right here. Okay. Battery is connected. Okay, now I'm going to take this old one out and I'm going to put it in here. Let's see how much of a fiasco this is going to be. Turn this off. Yeah, this is going to be quite the fiasco trying to get this out of here. Oh dear. <laughs> really? That's that's really unfortunate. Just discovering that this is going to be quite a pain. Um here's the hole where all the wires go through. And uh I have to pull this this one through and it's got a plug on the end and there's no way that's gonna fit. So I'm going to take out all these wires just to replace the stinking battery thing. Oh, good. That wasn't so bad. I've got to clean this up a bit. I oh, probably should take this... Uh inspection thing off of here. Actually, while I have these two units out here, <clears throat> let's compare the two. Alright, so here's a look at the two units outside of the cabinet. Uh, they're pretty much the same except uh, few minor details, this one's got a different UL listing and rating up there at the top. Um, 
otherwise they have the same number of plugs this one has a warning, the other one does not um, turn them around so you can see the front they pretty much are identical units except for the color scheme which I would expect being they're both model CS500 um, of course this one is Energy Star rated now, but otherwise the front looks exactly the same. Alright, let's get this in there. Hopefully I can fit the plug through. I think it's pretty much the same size, so it should go through okay. We'll have to uh, rearrange that later because that's a mess now, but at least it works. <laughs> Alright, it's in place. Wires are a bit of a mess, so I'll we'll have to take care of that later, but let's turn it on. See how it works. Nothing seems to be getting power, so okay. Now the cable modem seems to be on, or the internet modem rather. The router is not getting any power. Yeah, it's like a telephone cable unplugged. All right, here is the new unit installed and operating. It seems to be working well. I've had it on, plugged in for a little while now, and everything seems to be in check. Um, it's noticeably quieter than the other one. The other one had a loud, not loud, but noticeable charging hum to it. This one does not seem to have that which is good um, I was trying to find a manufacturing date on the old one and I couldn't find one but I know we've had it for probably seven or eight years at least uh, so it lasted a long time anyways um, I'll probably be relocating this equipment sooner or later because I gotta move the router somewhere else so I don't get enough range outside um, anyways that's all for now thank you for watching over and out